Pipsters, my name is Jason and thanks for tuning into my channel Pips and Chits. Today I have a special unboxing video for you. It is a 2020 Kickstarter from CMON or some people call them Come On Games and it was advertised earlier this year for a delivery of late October. Unfortunately I got mine a few days late, uh, not in time for Halloween, but regardless I'm very excited to share this with you guys. It is Night of the Living Dead, a zombicide uh, experience here. And quite honestly, I have never owned any previous zombicide games. I'm not too familiar with the zombicide universe. However, I have played a, a game a couple of times at my local store. One of the things that attracted to me to getting this particular one is it is a one-off. Uh, you don't have to be invested so much in the Zombicide uh, universe, if you will. And the mechanics, uh, you know, seem to be relatively user friendly. So it's a game that I can sit down and teach uh, my friends and my wife uh, relatively quickly and dive right into it. The game promises to have uh, upwards of 15 scenarios right out of the box. Currently, right now on Board Game Geek, it's ranking at 7.9 out of 10, which is a pretty darn good high score. The complexity level is, uh, you know, relatively medium or slightly light to medium, but I still think this is an entry level game. I think uh, the medium ticks up a little bit because there are specific scenario based rules. Uh, and there might be a little bit additional things going on that you wouldn't normally see in the regular Zombicide games. That being said, of course, with all Kickstarters, you tend to receive a little bit of extra swag or some unlocks that you're not going to find in the retail version. And of course, in this game is no different. Here we have Night of the Living Dead, the Dead of Night little expansion here, if you will. I guess I wouldn't really call it expansion, but there's some a uh, couple new ghouls in there, some new heroes, uh, some new uh, equipment cards and player boards in there. But overall, there are a ton of miniatures. I believe just in the core game itself, the core box, there are 66 miniatures. And I believe in that little small box I just show you, there was 10 miniatures. So you're, you're looking at uh, 76 miniatures, hundreds and hundreds of cards. Um, and one of the things that really caught my mind about this or really, uh, really made me gravitate towards this was not only its cooperative nature, but the uh what they showed on kickstarter as far as the uh, painted minis in that black and white tone you know a lot of people get miniatures and they want to paint them up in all these vibrant colors well they stuck to a very monotone thing with some object source lighting and it just looked really fabulous as a matter of fact i'm going to give a shout out to rob orn of rob's world if you haven't seen his painting videos, go by his channel, YouTube channel, and check him out. He has two different videos where he paints these models in the base colors of various grays and um, blacks. And then, uh, you know, using some highlighting techniques and some dry brushing, you know, brings out that, that real true essence of black and white. And uh, I would have to say, honestly, the miniatures just look phenomenal. But enough about that. Let's get down to the table and let's open up these boxes. Here we have the core box for Night of the Living Dead. And I apologize up front about the lighting. It is a very gloomy and rainy day here, which might be a little apropos. So I'm using a little light uh, additional lamp here just to lighten up my room. Otherwise, it's relatively dark outside. So, Night of the Living Dead, a zombicide game, a game by Raphael Guiton, Jean-Baptiste Louis, and Nicolas Raoult, and art by Karl Kopinski. And I apologize if I butchered the names, I don't speak French very well. But let's go ahead and turn this over and see what we have here. So really quick, again, one to six players, ages 14 and up, and each scenario claims to play for about an hour, possibly a little more. Uh, game contents, we have 66 miniatures. We have 111 mini cards, six double-sided game tiles, six uh, survivor dashboards, six survivor ID cards, 12 survivor colored bases, six dice, 48 trackers, and 25 tokens. And I'm not gonna go ahead, if you guys wanna pause this and read it, you can, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that for now and get right into the unboxing. So this should help with the glare, and I can tell you right now, 
The box has a very nice linen texture to it. It feels pretty darn thick and I just love this front artwork. How striking is that with the red logo and this image just looking out at you. Uh, I just find that very striking. So let's go ahead and open it. And the first thing we have here is some additional content here, possibly a QR code that we can scan and take a look at. We have the Night of the Living Dead manual. It is 47, 48 pages all together. We'll talk about the game components in here. We have uh, some Again, telling us all the different cards that we have, all the different tokens, uh, how to set up the game on pages six and seven. Some nice color graphics, actually very beautiful color graphics here. Uh, game overview, the basics, movement, line of sight. Look at these figures. Very nice. How to read an equipment card. Um, you know more about these server cards then again they're double-sided you have a romero mode and the zombicide mode uh, inventory ghouls the player phase player phase start on page 18 and just kind of walk you through we won't go through all these but there's quite a bit going on in here and it looks like there's a bunch of scenarios the scenarios actually start on page what page is this page 15 actually they're called scenes in here so on page 33 there are 15 scenes if you will so scene one all the way through the very last um, we have scene 10 here and it's reported at 90 minutes and it's on uh, page 45 and I believe there are some additional content that gets you the remaining scenes so in the box here we have our four plastic player trays. We have a little slider here, already pre-built sticker. You're gonna place hard uh, your main player uh, here. We have some things uh, for experience and uh, pegs that are gonna put in these little slots here. You're gonna put your cards in, what you're holding in, in either hand. So we have a few of those. We have our player cards. And in this case, again, they're double-sided. So we have Romero mode is, I believe, the black and white side. And then the flip side of that would be the zombicide mode when they become much more powerful characters, if you will, and they're a little bit buffed up. So we have those cards there. We, of course, have our plastic rings for uh, the bases of our miniatures. We have pegs. Again, these pegs will go ahead and fit in these um, little slots here, little holes here. And these are, if you haven't noticed here, they are actually the legs of a table. If you imagine that, those are the markers. We have our six dice, standard dice. Instead of black though, they have like a little kind of blackish red color to them. We have a ton of cards. I'll set that aside for a minute here, see what else is uh, in here. Oh, no, nothing, just the six trays. So we'll go ahead and take this vacuum pack out. And I guess we could open up a few of these. I'm not gonna go, there's just way too many to look at here, but we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple of these cards. Um, so we have walkers, breakers, fatties, relatives, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of our ghoul cards, if you will. And let's see what else we have in here. Just all bunch of ghouls. Uh, again, it looks like we have our item cards here. Uh, they have a black and white background. We have weapons. These are in, looks like red. We have a um, miscellaneous thing, a bunch of boards, flammable liquids. Um, those are brown backings. And put those aside here. And we have a car that's double-sided, a car there. We have a bunch of blue. Uh, again, more weapons. 
We got Ma shotgun, torches, and more brown ones, which look like more. Um, we have plenty of shells, a scope, a mason jar, bullets, and uh, Karen, poor baby. Go ahead and just free content here. Again, this QR code, I'm kind of curious to scan this and see exactly what it is, but we'll get to the measures in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tiles first. And one thing I do like right here is you have this insert that goes all the way around the box that's just thick enough to hold all of our six double-sided tiles here. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at those. Sorry, just peeling, peeling the cellophane off camera. Sorry about that. Let's get that out. But uh, looks like we have the interior of a house and some outside with a porch. Really nice artwork. Oh, we've got like a cornfield, if you will. Very spooky. Uh, we have more of the house outside. It looks like a kitchen here and more outside. Another corner of the house. We have the living room, a staircase, more outside, more of the cornfield. And it looks like something that the car would drive on more has yet more of the house and uh, looks like a living room or possibly office of some sort and uh, more of the farm outside yeah, but you get the gist of it oh this looks like a possibly garage outside with the barn door knocked down we have like a little thresher in there it looks like a tractor um, more cornfield uh, Ooh, looks like we have a little of a graveyard scene too. We have some tombstones, family plots here, if you will, and a little work shed outside. Looks like a table with some stuff on it and just all outside. And then we have uh, our punch token. So we have the car. I believe these are our spawning things, white, purple, like this goldish mustard, three reds, a bunch of boards, barricades. Looks like a door that have, might have been knocked over. And of course, Karen, I don't know, maybe this is the first player token, if you will, double-sided. And probably what you guys are all expecting to see right now is the miniatures. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this box aside and let's take a look. Oh, okay, well that's pretty neat. We have a little diorama outside, if you will, or a little silhouette of all the different figures and their places so you know how to store them. That's that's pretty neat. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see, open this up. Some of these obviously shifted when I opened the box, but uh, we have a ton, 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 ton of minutes here. And I believe, again, all the gray ones, these darker gray ones are our heroes, if you will. And that is the Romero mode. And when they get to a certain level, they um, transform, if you will, into zombicide mode, where they become slightly more powerful. We have uh, some of our relatives here, I believe, in red. And of course, all of our uh, ghouls uh, here, and they all kind of fell out, but really nice. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. They have some like little holes. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. Let's see if I can rotate this just a little bit, but there's some holes in their shirts and stuff that make it look like they were shot or stabbed. And let me just go ahead and rotate this around a little bit. So that's tray number one. And oops, looks like we have some tape here. So let me cut this tape. And I'm sure there's tape on this side. Of course there is. And we'll go ahead. Oh gosh, there's actually three, three pieces of tape. Okay. Oh, take that back. There are four pieces of tape. So let me cut that. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Okay. 
and now we have a bunch of more ghouls and we have our are definitely our fatties right there uh, we have a ghoul with a leg of a bull that's going to club you we have our bakers with the uh, bricks if you will and uh, just a host of other zones in there so again it'd be really fun to paint these up in black and white and i'm looking forward to that getting this to the table but and hopefully it should be relatively easy to paint a lot of these so you could do a batch painting and it might be even interesting to use some contrast paints on these these might even work well with uh, citadel's contrast paints but uh, for now, that is the core box. Let's go ahead and get to the supplement box. All right, here we have the Night of the Living Dead, Dead of Night exclusive. This is the additional unlock package that came with the Kickstarter game here. And let's go ahead and turn it over and let's see what we have in here. Well, we have uh, eight survivors. There are four in Romero uh, mode survivors and four regular zombicide mode. We have Deputy Vince, Chief McClelland, Karen, and Johnny. And of course we have two ghoul miniatures. We have Helen and we have some uh, four survivor ID cards and some equipment cards. So let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so first thing we have here is um, our ID cards or our character cards. We have Deputy Vince, and this is, I believe, the Romero mode. No, this has got to be the Romero mode. Uh, so we have Johnny, we have Karen, we have Chief McClelland, and Deputy Vince. And of course, on their other side would be the Zombicide mode. These are the mode when they get more powerful. Karen with a cha chainsaw, Chief McClelland, Deputy Vince, of course. We have a little pack of cards here, believe it or not. I think there's only two in here, and this is uh, some gear cards. And we have a meat hook and Karen's trowel. So those are the two cards in there. And then finally, let's take a look at the miniatures. And I think there might be a little bit of tape on not. Oops, didn't mean for that to happen. So let's see what do we have here other than me knocking them all out of place. Well, have some miniature. I can't believe how dark it got all of a sudden. It's a, it's a very rainy day here today. So the sky is uh, turning between dark skies and sun peeking out once in a while. So I apologize that this looks a little dark. We have Karen here uh, all in pink. And we have another ghoul here. And of course, we have our, uh, who's this again here? This is Karen with her trowel. And we have Johnny here with a hammer. And we have uh, Deputy Vince right here. Looks like he's got a shotgun. And Chief McClelland. And this is the Zombicide mode. Notice again that they are in gray as opposed to the Romero mode where they have, or no, I think I have that backwards. I believe that the black and white versions are the uh, Romero mode and these more souped up ones are the Zombicide mode. So yeah, they, they definitely, sorry about that. I had that backwards, but very nice looking miniatures here. And there's Karen with a chainsaw. 
And again, we have Johnny here. But that is the Night of the Living Dead exclusive box here. It fits all back into place. Go ahead and put these cards back. So you have an idea. Nice, nice tray that each one fits in their vacuum tray pretty nice. And then we have this cover. And that is Box Dead of Night.